Well, my name is Carmen. I am 25 years old. I am from the Netherlands and my family lives in Amsterdam. Uh, well, before like 2013 maybe, uh, I did the internship when I lived in Belgium. And I always wanted to learn some Asian like writing system. And Hangul seems the easiest for me to do in three weeks for my, during my internship. So it became like a, a hobby of mine to learn Korean. And after visiting many, visiting many times to Korea, I decided to uh, start studying here seriously. Yeah, sure. My first time I had to search where it was and I was kind of nervous. So I can understand if other like students come here for the first time, it's, it's quite nerve wracking. You have a lot of things to be like to do and to get settled. But it will be okay once you're in the class. You you will feel the pressure is gone. And, and students and yeah, teachers try to help you work really well to release your stress. Yeah. Well, because before I, I traveled a lot in Korea already, and like back in 2013, I did volunteer work in Busan. So for maybe three three months. So I liked it as well. Like very much, I like you very much, and I made a lot of friends back then as well here. So I already know a lot of people here, and I know the city is like I, I, I like the city a lot, and because of I have a lot of friends, I, I I came to choose to come here, and I already kn knew the school area because the volunteer work was close by, okay, around the corner. So. Oh wow, really close. Yeah, really close. So yeah. You're already an expert. About yeah, yeah, the area. Actually, yeah, because. I, I traveled other cities like Seoul and yeah, that kind of cities, but uh, Incheon. But yeah, it was not that kind of like small, more cozy feeling like Busan. Yeah, that's why I chose to do it. The culture, I I like to go to Korea for the culture, like um, nice nature. The food's always good, and I love Korean food a lot. So that's that's one of my favorite things and. I, when I come here, I also try to visit like uh, the different cities I didn't visit before, or meet my friends who live in other cities. So, yeah, traveling and mostly the food. Because I studied Korean before already for all those years, like by myself, I I start in level three. Oh wow! Like Hankook. Great. And so I finally get some challenge, you know, because this class, the the grammar quite hard mm -hmm. so for me it's more like a challenge because when you study on your own you just do your own pace and it's not really challenging for yourself you know I, I I speak with my Korean friends like basics and not really professional right so I look forward for the more professional and more challenging part yeah. I, my advice is like back like back in 2013 when I went to come I was really uh, it was my dream to, to go here at least once to see how it is and if you have the desire to go, then don't don't keep yourself from going. Just just go, and even if you're worried to go alone, it, there's always always people also the same like you. And you will meet you alone. You will meet a lot of new friends, and especially if you go, for example, with organization like Obuhan Group, you you have some security that people will guide you, or if you have questions, so don't be afraid and just 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 try. At first, of course, it's, it's it's far from home. Maybe especially for people who are not from Asia countries, it's a different culture. You, you, you first you feel like far from home, maybe a little bit homesick. But there, are, there are other people like you, so they also try and come alone. So right. just follow your dream. If it's your dream, don't don't depend on people. Just go for yourself. Go for your dream. Just do it, right? Yeah, just 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 go. Just do it.